but apparently we're live. Right. I did a test. I did a oh, test in the Dark Souls menu screen with the music playing and me talking over it, and it sounded like they were leveled right. Um, right, okay. But I'm actually launching the game right now, so we'll have to wait and see. Launching the game. Also, as you can hear, Ted, um, you know, I got my new headset and the microphone on it is this really good technology where it's, it's like a it's like a tin can with a string on the end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, it definitely is a microphone. It sounds like I'm just like at the other end of a corridor whilst I'm speaking. I can say with 100% certainty it is taking input converting it to an electric signal and then converting that to audio output. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna last long. I am gonna be getting a new microphone. The headset, the audio quality on the headset's really good. The microphone on the headset's not great, but then integrated microphones on headsets are never great. So what are you gonna do, eh? I'm gonna cry. Yeah, but that's your that's your go to response every time, isn't it? But don't worry. The spear, the common short spear that allows attacking with shield up. Right, let me check the fucking audio levels. Just, yeah. Yeah. Check. Uh, There's background a, noise. I am saying a sentence, so take and check the audio levels. He's a little cuck. And I love him for it. Mwah. Love you, Ted. Do you wanna have a, have a little tickle on sad Tony's balls? You uh, can't, it's... he's got no balls. You're a little bit quiet, but it's not. I can't turn not myself up worst. anymore, Ted. This is as loud as I can go. Sad, you just scream. Yeah, I will do. You know I will, Ted. Right, do you wanna put yourself down at this bonfire? Oh, have right, that one. Yeah. yeah. This is the shortest route to the uh, boss. Has, has... So hold on. There's a shrine. A shrine, yeah? Tell me when your sign is down so I can do that. Guaranteed to get the sign to appear. Emote. Uh... Oh shit, I'm in offline mode. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Look, look how much Sad Tony disapproves of you. I don't want to be invaded or have spoiler messages when I play normally. So Sad Tony is so disappointed with you, Ted, that he's actually shut his eyes in disgust. Okay. Oh, I fucking forgot just how big Sad Tony's nose was. He's more nose than man at this point. He's more nose than soul. Dark nose. Prepare to sleep. Well, that was, uh, that was the original working title of Elden Ring, wasn't it? Dark nose. Uh, okay. Wow. Stone, it's on the little stairs going up to the bonfire. Okay, so whilst I wait for that to appear, I pray. I pray to the bon to the shrine, please, please. I don't want to be invaded. <laughs> I also need it's to end it myself. Fucking on fire, baby! It worked. Sal. Sal Cinder. Ah, uh, coming. You're coming. I actually just realized something I can do to make the audio levels a bit better. And I just... Oh my god. My Windows key and my computer's not working. Hold on, let me quickly alt tap. I didn't know. I have a plan, Ted. If I open the volume mix so I can just turn Dark Souls down a little bit. I just probably wouldn't fuck about with it at this point. I've done it. I've turned I've turned Dark Souls down from twenty to fifteen. It should be a quarter quieter now. Fucked. Just Let's wrong. go. It's this way. Game's unplayable now. Unplayable. That quarter sound was actually the most important awesome. bit of the sound. On you get. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run past the dudes. 
into the Deacon boss gate. You just need to clear out the horde for me so I can just, like, get to the guy. Hold on. Did you go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. God damn it. Oh, wow. It's also running a bit shit today. Oh, there's the invasion. Woo! Oh, I can't use the seed of a giant tree. You need to do it. Wait. I don't believe in hell very much. It's just kind of funny. Yeah, my game's running a little arsey today, which is interesting. Arseholes. Arseholes, prepare to arse edition. Prepare to arse. Wasn't this door. I don't even know where the fucking inverter's gonna be, because this is a big map. It's a big map, and they're gonna be having a good time, Ted. Big Especially as we're about to just go into a boss room. Yeah. Uh, right, so remember, Ted, just run past everything. Oh, it's a little boy. Yeah, you gotta just run past him. He's jump. Uh, slime, please. Slime! Look, Ted, I know you go crazy for the slime. You just gotta run past oh, it. Oh, they're, they're like gathering up from following Come on, you. Ted. Just huh. run past them. Wow. There we go. I swear to God, this is not the way. I... Oh, there's the invader! Run, 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 run! Ah, oh, the fucking, ah, that was weird. My target decided. Please, I just want to do the boss invader. Fuck you. I did it. Yeah, that despawned him. Yeah, bitch. Okay, this is why they call me Soul Greatsword. This is why they call you Sal Greatsword. Oh. Yeah, baby. They're, they're, they're cross with me. I need a sippy. Oh, here's the boy. Here comes the boy. And he's dead. You just need to be clearing them out, Ted. Just clear out that horde. I think I might have to turn this game down slightly more because fuck me, it's still really loud. Actually, the sword grid doesn't actually do a ton of damage. To them. No, it but does it's hit a lot of them. Though. Exactly. And that's why I need you to just clear hordes. Especially once the Pope arrives. Once we get the Pope, you just need to leave the Pope to me. You need to just stop people attacking me. They're all focused on me anyway. I think the Pope is pretty close now. Fuck, I've got fireballs. One more before the Pope. Okay, I think the Pope's here. Dead Pope's here. Are you dead? Yeah. One of them literally like got me at like the one frame in my weapon swap animation that he could have got me. Oh, I killed the deacon. There you go. I I got him. I'm also Good just stream. gonna open that fucking volume mixer again because that's uh that music's loud, baby. Why don't you just use the in-game volume menu? It's a good question, Ted. And the answer is... I... I didn't. These are my favourite guys. Look at them. They're having a great time. Now, do you just want to check the stream to make sure it's not too quiet? Ah, <sighs> fine. It shouldn't be. I mean, it's only ambient background noise right now, anyway. Fuck it, it'll do. Fuck it, it'll do. That's that's what I like to hear. Ted, that's what I like to hear. <sighs> well, Ted, we did it. Now what? Uh, now I'm gonna go to the 
the Badlands. Welcome us. The Badlands. Very well, then take it. Well, first I want to see whether I can actually level. I can't. All the lands in this game are well, pretty bad. Ones. Ah, yeah, but this is the particularly bad land, so to get to the particularly bad lands, I need to go to Wolfnir. Can I summon you here? Or can I not, because I've killed Wolfnir? Um, you probably won't be able to. Fuck, I kind of really want your help with this next bit. Because, uh, I discovered this, Ted, whilst I was doing my Pyronancy run by accident. Um, and it took me a long old time to beat what I'm about to do. Mostly because the thing has a lot of fire resistance, but also because I'm bad at video games. So, first we hit, and then we wait for it to drop, Ted. There we go. I discovered it because a message like that told me. And then I go. And now, Ted, this is where it starts getting tricky. Yeah, that's the easy bit. Now there's a demon. A demon. Hello, demons. Ow. Fuck that up. Luckily, oh fuck! I was about to say he seems to go down easy to old Dex boy, but uh, prove me wrong. Now, Ted, here's the thing: is at certain points in this game it gets quite hard, so I'm gonna be kind of quiet. I know we've not streamed Dark Souls for a few weeks, but you have to remember that that's your time to talk. No, not my time. Yeah, unfortunately, when it's hard, you have to be the one talking. Ugh. Because I'm like paying that. attention. Can you just not pay attention? Sadly, no. Because I'm not door. very good at video games. <laughs> so it takes me a lot of attention. Get good. I'm trying, Ted. But unfortunately, oh. it's not that easy. So you need to be a talkie boy now. Go on, pick a topic, I'd rather, just, I'd rather just watch you struggle, to be honest. That's I know fun. you would, and I appreciate that. I do. But what I don't appreciate is that it's a bad viewing experience. I don't know about that. You could be entertaining to watch. Something. Well, no, it's just not... It's not entertaining to just watch silence. People in this day Ow! Talk, talk too much. A little bit of nice, considerate silence, punctuated by screams of frustration. No, I think I think people just don't talk enough, Ted. That's my philosophy. I'm just gonna let that demon. I'm just gonna let him climb some stairs. Up you come. Come on, bud. It's just me and you now. The skeletons are all dead. Hello, demons, my old friend. Ah, fuck, he got me with that. I'm always bad at dodging that. Probably should have backed off before resting there, hey? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, Tess. You some kind of Estus scientist? Uh, no, that's the problem. Uh, I like when you find Estus oh, soup wait. in this game. Praise the soup. Praise the soup. But also, just because that implies my SS flask is just full of soup. Just like mummies to me. Yeah, which is strange because obviously we assumed it was full of LucasAid Sport from the colour. LucasAid Sport could be soup. I don't. Oh, does LucasAid Sport count as soup? It's liquid. Ah, but because of the sugar... And it's best served piping hot. Ah, but he here's a question. Because of the sugar tax, if LucasAid Sport gets reclassified to a soup, is it exempt from sugar tax? Uh... Just another greedy, money-driven tax dodge by the 
by the Luke stage. Yeah. Uh, I assume it's just a company called LucasAid, right? Ah, you fuck! No, it's, it's probably owned by Cork. Oh my Real. god, how am I meant to dodge the two slams? I can't recover from one roll. This is the fucking quickest he killed me, Ted. This is why I wanted to summon you for it, because I thought you could just be fucking standing up top shooting with soul arrows whilst I do this. Bit cheap, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit cheap, but it's Ted. It's our go-to strat. <laughs> is I stand there and try not to get hit, and you shoot them with great soul arrows. Good old great soul arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking reliable yeah, spell. Yeah, I don't think there's. I don't think there's gonna be a better spell in the game than great soul arrow, Ted. Uh, I do not know what the fuck I'm doing. Come to the fucking. Same place as me, Ted, so I can at least summon you. I don't think I actually beat Wall here. Well, you need to then. Uh, not a boss no, but he is vital to progress in the game. This is all progress. Well, I'm assuming you want to progress based on the fact that that's how you get further in the game. I want to digress. You always do. Well, yeah, I'm not very good at Dark Souls. Ouch. Dark oh, Souls, let's digress. Please, demon. I just need to get like one hit on you. For demons, please, I beg you. I fucking got him! He went down easy. Just like. Go on, finish the sentence. That was, that was completely sense. Just like what, Ted? What else do you know which goes down easy? Nothing at all, that's why I didn't complete the sentence. Well, I know something which goes down easy. Uh, the smooth... A smooth sip of piping hot LucasAid Sport. <laughs> yeah, this stream brought to you by LucasAid Sport. LucasAid. Eat fresh. LucasAid, it's soup now. Ted the Mimic ate me. Don't wanna do that. Nah, fuck, Mimics are hard in this game. Yeah, oh shit. I remember Dark Souls 1 Mimics were like, oh, if you got them before they, like, got up, they were fucked. Yeah, they gave them their, like, little kick attack. Does quite a lot of damage. Well, he just fucking grabbed me and ate me and that one-shot me. From oh, they've already, they've health. always been able, to, they've always been able to do that. Yeah, no, but my point was it felt like Mimics used to have less health. I hope that demon doesn't respawn. Demons don't normally respawn, so I think I'll be fine. Let's go, baby. Rag knight. Rags to be one. Raggy, raggy, rag. Hold on. I think I need to do a thing now. I've beaten, um... Now I've actually... Ooh, it's like yeah. a rags to riches story, but without the riches. It's rags to rags. Rags, rags to slightly, to slightly better rags. Honestly, uh. Ah oh, fuck! See, he just gets. He just grabs me. If you like to uh, run past a lot of enemies in this game, hidden body, pretty good spot. Hold on, I've just realised, Ted. I need to speak to Ario Vastoria at Firelink Shrine after killing the Deacons of the Deep. Oh, off you go then. Well, I'm gonna kill this fucking Mimic first. I've got a grudge. I'm I'm grudging this Mimic, Ted. Put it in the book. It's in the book. It's in the grudge book. Which means, gotta kill him. Grudge book. Babe, grudge book. Grudge is to be won. Grudgy, grudgy, grudge. I don't know what grudges are. Uh, it's a Japanese horror movie, isn't it? Ooh! Why w Okay, so explain the plot to the Japanese horror movie Grudge Book. Um, so there's this, like, hideous monster. Yeah? Is it me? Am I in that film? No, he lives in a swamp. Okay. 
and uh, one day he like meets up this like magical talking donkey. I am in that film. Fuck! See the fuck me. I just cannot dodge that goddamn grab. I just can't get the timing on that fucking grab, Ted. Because I swear, I swear I fucking dodged that. I think it's best to just kind of... You can, like, bait him into it and just run backwards so he can't get you. Well, that's what I tried to do. I was like, roll back? No. Anyway, continue to talking about the plot to the film Grudge Book. It says that there's... I'm in a swamp and I meet a talking yeah, donkey. I assume the talking donkey's you. No, the talking donkey's played by Eddie Murphy. But, Ted, all stories about you and I. Uh, and so, um, there's like a princess. Yeah. Um, Is the princess there's big, Rick? There's a big castle. They make a dick joke about the size of the castle. Uh huh, uh huh. I love a good dick joke. Um, and then that's the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie. It finishes on the dick joke. They see a big yeah, castle yeah. and, like, Ooh, I bet that I bet the guy who built that has a tiny dick. No, no, no. They, they say, oh, I bet the guy who built that has a massive dick. Oh, so it's like subversive. This giant castle. And, oh, so, uh, so it's like it's like a subversive dick joke. Because, you know, normally people joke about people with big things having to... Oh, what the fuck? That fucking yeah. spin kick is bullshit. The mimic wasn't happy about you making fun of... Uh, fun of Lord Farquaad's dick. Who's Lord Farquaad? You didn't mention Lord Farquaad at all uh, in your description Lord Farquaad is of Eddie the Murphy's grudge name. book. Lord Farquaad is Eddie Murphy's stage name. Oh, uh, so it's Eddie Murphy's castle in the film, the grudge Who book. Because Eddie Murphy. You just said him. You just said it. I said and... Freddie Mercury. Okay, how many Freddie Mercury's are there in the film then? No, Freddie Mercury died ages before the film came out. But that doesn't make sense. How can Freddie Mercury have a tiny dick if he's dead? Oh, no, Freddie Mercury was very well endowed. Everybody knows that. Look, you're just confusing me. Is, is this just Japanese storytelling? Okay. Oh, it's it's all very non-linear. Um, you wouldn't understand because you are what we in the the Chinese community call a moron. In all fairness, they say that about me in all communities. Yeah, it's pretty universal. I fucking hate this guy. Oh, t I fucking rolled! Ted, how is one mimic harder than the goddamn demon? How is this a thing? Oh. I fucking rolled. I fucking rolled. And he still grabbed me whilst I was rolling. I'm gonna kill this fucking mimic, Ted. Even if it's the entire goddamn stream, he's gonna have a shit item. His item's not gonna be good. I can guarantee it. Artorius got reincarnated as that mimic. I swear to God, Artorius was easier to fucking dodge than this guy. Oh, I swear to fucking God, Ted. I swear to fucking God. So, when we play Elden Ring, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to play Artorius. That's going to be my character. Ah, you fucker! Don't you mean Guts from Berserk? No, Ted, when we, when we play Elden Ring, I'm, I'm clearly playing this fucking Mimic, because it's the strongest goddamn thing in the game. That's clearly what I'm playing now. I wonder if they're gonna... Because obviously they're gonna have mimics in Elden Ring, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just well, obviously. It's a From Software game. I wonder what, like, fun twist they're gonna apply to the concept of mimics. Big dicks. Ooh. I assume it's gonna be big dicks. And that's why all the mimics are gonna be in a massive castle. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, imagine a mimic dungeon, like a mimic castle. That'd be 
fucking horrible. Yeah, I know, right? Just random objects in the castle are mimics, and you don't know which ones. So when you enter a room, you cannot tell what, like, things are going to aggro on you as you're going through It's like, room. have you seen... Was it J Japan or Korea where there was that TV show where you, like, go into a room and some things in the room are made out of cake and you have to figure out which bit... what's, what's cake and what isn't. Yeah, it's that, but an, an entire dungeon. And less fun because you get eaten by mimics instead of getting delicious cake. I fucking killed the mimic. Finally. <laughs> oh the fuck, the item's game. in the air! Uh, I think how... if you reload, it might replace it. Well, that... Oh, okay, sure. So, do I need to fucking go re-rest at the bonfire? No, just like save to menu and reload the game. Oh yeah, let's do that. Quit game. Well, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah, oh, from software. So, um... Yeah, I, I think Mimics being able to be more than chess would be, uh... A fun twist on the Mimic. It would fu I'd hate it. I'd hate it so much. I'd hate going into a room and just trying to roll through a barrel and then the barrel grabs me and kills me. <laughs> that feels like a living hell. It's like Kaizo Dark Souls is how that would work. Yeah. I got a black blade, Ted. Black blade? Black blade! I don't know what that does. Um... There's jokes I could make, but I I, I really shouldn't. <laughs> no, Ted, we're streaming. Let's let's not. You need to you need to keep those for the Republican rallies you go to. It's alright right. though, it's Irish Republicans. Irish very Republican, different. very different. I actually saw there was um I was walking through town today and there was a poster for like a Irish Republican resistance rally or something. I was like, oh, oh dear. I feel like that is not a good thing for you, an Englishman, to go to. Well, fortunately, it was in like the start of December, so... Oh, phew. That, that one could be close. Fuck me, there's a lot of skeletons here. Oh my god, he fucking palpatined me. Please. I just want to live, and also take these items. I don't want drop good items. I'm just getting the fuck out of here. Fuck those skeletons. Quick, see the rest of the bonfire <laughs> before they come. Right, so I need to go to Firelink Shrine. So Ted, I don't remember what Anri of Astorius looks like. Uh, she's literally just like wearing generic knight armor okay so you need to help me find her in firelink i have Shrine. no idea where she is <laughs> go on the wiki is this her i'm doing a boss fight right now charlie <laughs> are you anry of astorius oh and we meet again it is we spoke before on the road of sacrifices till i found her anry of astora sup anry i'm well pleased to see you safe i like your shield we reached the cathedral of the deep but Aldrich's coffin was empty. Did you kill the deacons too? The man-eater must have left for his true home. I don't like that he's called the man-eater. The little doll in the empty coffin told Whoa, me. Whoa, here she comes. Aldrich said to oh, God damn it. from Irisil in the Boreal <gasps> Valley. I know a guy from the Boreal Valley. He was called Bort. <laughs> no, you're thinking of my son. Your son Bort. <laughs> my son is also named Bort. Uh, named Bort. Yeah, and he's from the Boreal Valley. No, he's from Cardiff. Yeah, that's the same place. <laughs> Welcome to Erethel of the Boreal Valley. <laughs> Man, they need more Welsh accents in this game, eh? Ooh. Or is it the Witcher games that have, like, a load of Welsh accents in them? Whatever so I could get Demon's Great Axe. 
I'm clearly going to get the candlestick, right? <gasps> right. Uh, fuck the great axe. Demon's fist. Shoot the firekeeper not with. You can finally fist those demons like you've always wanted. Hold on. I can't use this weapon effectively. But welcome to my new build, Ted. Double punch! Ba 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 Look at me punch! Can you two hand a fist? You can two hand a fist! That's fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid. I am. But so is two handing fists. Oh man, that's a. That's a bad weapon. Actually. That's actually not that bad, considering it's a level 1 weapon. But I feel like the reach is going to be anus. Where's level up, mummy? What's up? What's up, level up, mummy? <laughs> mummy, I require a level! Mm, do I keep just pumping shit into decks, or do I get some more stamina? I want to get some more stamina, Ted. Farewell, Ashen One. Farewell, bitch. But an under bone shard? No under bone shard. So now I need to find Anri in the catacombs of Cthulhu's. Of Cthulhu's. That the that's the skeleton hell. Yeah, it is skeleton hell, but I remember where she was meant to be, and I think I can just run past a whole bunch of enemies to her. Uh, this is also not where at the bonfire I need to be at. I need to be at the Abyss Watcher's bonfire. Because she, she was really early on, because you don't remember, I was yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is where she's meant to be, she wasn't here. It turns out I had to do the deacons first. And I never have to tell Henry of Horace's whereabouts. Well, I can't tell her about Horace's whereabouts. He's currently, you know, trying to overthrow the Emperor in Fort in Warhammer. I understood that reference. You did well done. You like when I make references. You understand. A bit like, uh, you know, this stream's title. You understand that reference, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's a reference to how um, sometimes when you know when you have a sponge. Yeah. If you take it out of water? Uh, no. No. Sorry, Ted. It's the name of the second SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Fuck is SpongeBob SquarePants? It's a little known Nickelodeon cartoon popular with the kids. I don't watch anime. I know you don't. And that's why I named it after your favourite anime SpongeBob SquarePants 2. I fucking killed myself! Congratulations! Well, no, that's the name of your favourite um, anime. I fucking killed myself. <laughs> My little sister can't possibly fucking kill herself <laughs> in another world. Gaiden. Hold on. There's a reason why... Uh... That's the only one I've got on my toolbar. <laughs> Help me. Help me! I feel like it's the most apt one for me. <laughs> Especially now I'm going back into Skeleton Hell. Fuck me, I never thought I'd have to return. Come on, get back up, you skeletal bitch. And you. Come on. I kind of want to lure him off this bridge so I don't just roam to my death again. I got him. There's a ghost with a great club there. I bet he's having a great time against skeletons. Oh, fucking... I keep fucking up the range of my sword! I 
like the skeletons with no heads. They feel fun. Ah, oh, you fucking piece of shit with a bow. So yeah, now I need to kill these two guys. This one guy runs across and he aggros and then I kill him. Come on. Up the stairs. Up the stairs to fight me. Well that was bullshit. And you fucking know it. This is why you and I aren't friends, Skeleton. Ted, you're awfully quiet. Um, again, I'm... I'm Are you trying to beat the deacons? Well. No, I'm doing Volnir. I'm just not very... It's because Volnir, you basically need to be able to do quite a lot of melee damage quite quickly, and that is one thing I objectively fucking suck at. Uh, I don't know. I can think of other things you objectively suck at. I didn't say it was the only thing. Good point. I said it was one thing. So it's like, I can break his rings, but it usually takes me too long and he gets like right up to, you know, when he climbs all the way up and then you basically can't get out of the way of his instant kill fog. Yeah, the instant kill fog kind of sucks. Right, I found Anri again. And now I just have to not tell her where Horace lives. Horace lives oh, in Wolverhampton. How very fortunate. How very fortunate, yes. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap. <laughs> she fell for a trap, Ted. She too. thought it was a girl. Turns out it was a man. Horace is a valiant knight. Right, right. now I've not told her questions. where Horace is. She's probably searching for me right now. Quite the result. <laughs> well, would you like Please to know what the... Please tell him. <laughs> remain in the catacombs. And will lay prison stones to guide him. Oh, well, always. that's lovely. That's lovely, Henry. Please send him my word. I beg of you. I beg of you. I, I'm not going to do that. May the flames guide your way. So, do you want to know what the uh, the next step into getting the ending we're going for is, Ted? Go to oh. Smoldering Lake, kill Horace. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck him. Let him know, Henry. I'll let him know. <laughs> And that's what I'm about to go do, Ted. Where even is Smoldering Lake? Uh, it's, you know, the bonfire I've just did? Oh, right. That leads to Smoldering Lake. See, Ted? I'm ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the game. There's a cleric there. Good for him. How are you finding Wolfnir? Um, he's back at Slam, yeah. If he's... When he just does his, like, slams, I can deal with that, no problem, but it's when he fucking fogs me. <laughs> when he fogs shit you. About that. Yeah. Yeah, the fog fucking sucks. When he charges up to do the fo like, he just runs up, you just have to run up alongside him, though, Ted. Yeah. Because I did it with my pyro build, although I was using the bullshit touch pyromancy stupidly strong, like, the one which is stupidly spammable. Yeah. I haven't actually tried Soul Great Sword on him. I don't know if it's any good. Ooh, I got the old witch's ring. That would be really good if I was a pyromancer. Eh, Soul Great Sword might be good. Can you not just, like... <laughs> yeah, they're not one of the ones which is just, like, summon a magic sword permanently to hit with and it scales off your int. Well, there's magic weapon, but all that does is it just, like, gives your weapon magic damage. I remember this. So, Ted, we're going to be hearing that a lot. In Smoldering Lake. Hearing what? I... Blam! Blam! <laughs> Blam! There's a there's a giant artillery thing that just fucking oh, shoots great. you. It's um a bit of a pain in the ass. Yes. Is that a... Oh, okay, thank God. I didn't realise because you know Walney has spawned skeletons. Yep. He spawns wheel skeletons. Yeah, he does. It sucks. 
But uh, fortunately, he killed his own wheel skeleton before it could come and fuck me, so. Well, it deserves to die, let's be honest. Oh my god, get back here! Oh my god, skeletons, go away! I hate you, skeletons. I found. The boy I must kill. Horus of the Hushed. Oh, Horus, you're fucking easy as shit to kill. Ah, you're finally using your shield. Kill Taurus. Taurus, no. I stole his fucking shield. He was my world. Well, <laughs> now I need to find. Now I need you to go back. Shield. I told you it was Welsh. Yeah. Well, he never speaks. <laughs> so. I assume because From Software hates Welsh people. And you can't prove they don't, Ted. I don't, I don't think I need to prove that they don't. It's, it's obvious. Otherwise, they'd have given him a Welsh accent, wouldn't they? Oh, no, there, there is a Welsh. There's a remember the weird, like, merchant guy in Dark Souls. Oh, World. yeah, he, he was Welsh. Oh, my God, that almost hit me. Probably so the ten. most prominent Welshman in gaming history. Uh, Mostly because I can't really think of any of this. Master Chief is Welsh. That would be a hell of a twist. Especially considering he speaks with an American accent. Well, he's, you know, grew up in America, but his parents are Welsh. No, is he like, you know, like the Irish Americans where they're like, oh, I'm Irish. Because, I've never like, been my, to Ireland. My ancestors were my Irish. My great, yeah. great... Granddad's brother's cousin's wife's niece's dog was Irish, so I'm Irish. That's how it works. Alright, I've killed. Find Anri on the path near the wooden bridge before the High Lord walk near boss fight. Alright, so I now need to go find her on a bridge to tell her I've killed Horus. Boris? Yeah, I've killed Boris Johnson. <laughs> so here's the wooden bridge. So she's going to be somewhere near here. Oh, Henry! I'm... Oh, Henry, you're so fine. There she is! Blow my mind. Hey, Henry! Whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, hey, Henry. Oh, fuck, Ted, I forgot about all the goddamn skeletons! <laughs> it is oh, my god! <laughs> that's, a, that's a comical amount of skeletons. I fucking know, right? I thought there were a lot of deacons of the deep, eh? Oh, not even close to the skeletons of the... Skeep. The skeletons of the just before... Oh my fucking god, how am I meant to do this? I think she's still underground, so she's still kind of deep. How am I meant to get to her? When there's that many skeletons. I didn't think they'd all spawn. I was wrong. Uh, okay. This might be more of a challenge than fucking Wolfner. Should we have a race, Ted? Who can win first? Can you beat Wolfner or can I beat the Skeleton Horde? Oh, it's, I'm not doing very well, so don't worry about it. Right, the plan is to just, you know, fucking choke spot them. Oh, fuck! Stupid smoke. Oh, he's my... not even a hard boss, he's just annoying. Oh, yeah, Ted, I'd really like to educate me on annoying things right now. <laughs> you know, because I, I just wouldn't know. I wouldn't fucking know. Let 
Maybe I could firebomb them? Maybe firebombs is the answer, Ted. Oh, right. Let's try firebombs. Ah, fuck. Ah, uh, you get fucked. Mm, a little bit, but I'm still alive. Ted, if need be, you can summon me to help you with it. Yeah, it's just he keeps... Uh, uh, he's got, just got the one bracelet left, but he keeps doing the fucking attack that takes the bracelet, like, so I can't hit him. And now, I'm, just when I run up, he's going to do his fucking smoke, so I have to run away. Okay, firebombs work kind of well. Let me hit your fucking wrist! There we go, I got him. Oh, and just as he died, a skeleton got up. So I've got to kill a skeleton there. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Uh, well, cards. I almost cleared the horde. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. Is it? Oh, hold on. Is it going to be smart to go the other way? Because those all skeletons all trigger when you. Because those skeletons all trigger when you cross the bridge, right? So I'm thinking maybe mm. if I just go the other way and don't cross the bridge, that's going to be easier. Maybe. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, wait. Because there's get back no in? possible way to kill that many skeletons without, like, spells. Can you not get back into Volnia's boss room after the fight? You can, but the, you can. Oh, no, his boss room? No. Yeah. Oh, because I didn't pick up whatever the item was that was... Oh, it's garbage. Be... It was fucking oh, garbage. Man, this guy can fucking do one. Oh. Mm. You can go back to, like, oh. the room you got his cup from, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna quit to menu and go back into offline mode, because I have Ember now. <laughs> Good idea. Oh. I was apparently... Okay, whatever. Yes. Ooh, hey, Henry. Sorry about the last time. Oh, hello. Henry, are you okay? Henry, are you okay? Have are you, you okay, Henry? Horror. <laughs> oh, horror. I got something bad to say about Horace. To think there'd be a lake so deep. And the, the smoldering lake. So tell of the smoldering lake literally means you just tell her that there is a smoldering lake. Yeah, uh, oh, well, and Horace is there. I don't... Oh, yeah, thoughts? I, I don't tell her, but I killed him. Now I have to find her at the Church of Yosk Yorkshire Fire. Church of Yorkshire? <laughs> <laughs> Ted, I'm not kidding. It's spelt Y-O-R-K-S-H-A. It's, it's Yorkshire. <laughs> That's Yorkshire. But, but I much prefer the Church of Yorkshire. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says. That's how you... That's Yorkshire. That's Yorkshire. Uh, it is actually Yorkshire if you look at it. But but Yorkshire is just funnier. So let's go with that. <laughs> so where's that church? I assume I've not been there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it was going to be anywhere, it'd be the Cathedral of the Deep and it's not listed, so I'm going to uh, assume I've not been there yet. Hold on, should we check? Uh, yeah, I've definitely not been there. Oh, well, I'm just going to do Smoldering Lake, then I'll sort it. I'll, I'll sort Henry out after that. 
If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I, I don't actually. Could you please explain to me exactly what you mean? Yeah, so, um, are you aware of sexual intercourse? Uh, no, nobody has ever explained it to me. Okay, so when a mummy and a daddy love each other very much, they hug in a special way. And that special way is called a rim job. <laughs> now, this is where it starts getting complicated. When giving a rim job... Oh fuck, there's a giant worm. And a fucking ballista's shot me. Please, I don't want to die. Why won't you shoot the giant worm, you asshole? Blam, blam. Oh, that's a big lad. Oh, you fuck. Did you see the giant worm? No, um, I, I went. I tried to go to Irithyll, and there's a very large monster in the way. Yeah, Irithyll be like that. Ooh, but Ted, you, Ted, you don't want to go to Irithyll. You want to do Smoldering Lake first. Do I? Why? Low level requirement. Well, this guy is uh, kind of kicking my ass. Oh, also, you need to beat the Deacons of the Deep before you can do Irithyll. Before yeah, you can even awesome. get into Irithyll. Oh. Oh, he disappeared. That's bullshit. I was thinking I could just stand on the other side of this gate and cheese him. But they anticipated my bullshit. When it comes to Smoldering Lake, it's smoldering. What the fuck is Smoldering Lake? You gotta go past that demon. Oh, right, okay. Hello, demons. It's your favourite game, Ted. Demon Souls. There was this guy, he had a titanite shard for me. Also, I'm not... I wouldn't really call Smoldering Lake a lake. Because it's not very deep. It's smoldering still. It's smoldering, yes. But I feel like you got to be deeper to be counted as a lake. You know? Are you the lake police? Yes, actually. Oh. All um. <laughs> uh, Al Cab, all lake cops are bad. Uh, you're not wrong. Um, I was born out of wedlock. As all lake policemen are. I was born too late to a world that doesn't care. I was born too early to a world which does care. No, I wish I was a lake cop girl with flowers in my head. No, you don't. You don't know what I wish for. I know everything you wish for. I'm your genie. Oh. <laughs> you keep saying. I'm your genie in a bottle. You keep saying, oh, oh, genie. I wish. I wish I had a big old dangus. And I keep saying to you, Ted, I'm, I'm not a genie. I don't know why you think I'm a genie. And you're like, oh, genie. I think you're a genie because um, you wear very stereotypical Middle Eastern clothing and you're bright blue. Also, I do make a lot of pop culture references. And you sound ex you are also voiced by Robin Williams. Well, yeah, a little known fact about me, that isn't it? I'm voiced by Robin Williams. Performance of his lifetime, honestly. And after his lifetime. Yeah. It's uh, almost impressive. It's a shame it's such a good performance was uh, used on such a bad role. <laughs> he really throws himself into it, though. Really throws himself onto you. Oh, that's a lot of demons, so I'm not going down there. That feels bad. There's goops! Run! How do I get down this thing? That's not a ladder. How, how do you get and oh you chop the bridge then get, what? You chop the bridge and then wait and then the bridge becomes a ladder. Oh I did wait, but there were too many skeletons. Well you need to be on the wolfness side. I was on, I tried that before and that didn't work, it didn't do anything. It does, go on the wolfness side. <laughs> on the bridge. Oh, yeah, yada. You need to be on the wolfness side of the bridge. So bad. Oh my god, why did you lunge so far? I just want my souls, dude. 
I just want the soles to my feet. I assume that's that's what the soles are in Dark Souls, right? They're the soles of feet. Uh, definitely. It's why they're so dark because I don't wear any shoes. So the bottom of my feet are all gross. Hence Dark oh. Souls. Yeah, dark, the, the, the souls are actually feet picks. That's why you can buy stuff with them. It makes sense. Feet picks are the world's most stable currency. Uh, that's true, because no matter how much I flood the market with them, um, they're always valuable. Hello, demon. This Hello. is going to go poorly for me. I bet it's got magic resistance. Probably. Uh... Most things do. I killed a man. What have I become? What have I become, Ted? I'm a moiderer. Oh, I think I've managed to get the demon stuck. Hell yeah. Now just great soul arrow him. That's the plan. Oh, he's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, so you know how the ceiling in the demon room has, like, arches on it? Uh, I'm Turns aware. Yes. Turns out because he's a big lad, he gets stuck in those arches pretty easily. Well, why the fuck couldn't that have happened for me, hey? So he's just, uh, he's just vibing over there. No, I'm gonna try and make go. this I jump. Saw... I still arrowed to death. Yeah, motherfucker. Well, I deserved that. Well, that was bad. Oh, oh look, it's, it's your chest friend. I hate that guy. He's a fucking asshole. I mean, it's my turn now. You'll probably kill him the first time because you're actually good at video games. I can also just. He can't. It's hard for him to grab me because I can just backpedal and soul arrow him. Oh! Fuck! Right, let's get the fuck I out of here. I look down to one, like, down from my screen for one second and he kicked me in the face in one shot. Well, that's what happens. When uh, you fight, you fight mimics dead. What the they hell is that big you. lad in the corner of that room you're in? Dead. What is he? Doing? Oh, he's a guy. Also, because I've just made a jump, I, which I didn't think I could actually make. By the way, I think I've just skipped like half of this area. <laughs> So let's have a look. Yeah, look. He's, uh, I think he's maybe a demon where, like, the fire's gone out. Because there's some little demons who look like him. The dancer's gone from his bungee. Oh, no. Not his bungee. By the way, what was even in that mimic? Oh, it was, I, like, a ring? I see. Yep, come on, dudes. I should not be here right now. This is quite far into this area, if I remember correctly. Also, just fuck that. I'm just remembering whether there's a uh, bonfire nearby I can abuse. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're one of those fucking assholes. You're much less fun when I don't have ah, the skeleton. Not now, skeleton, there's a mimic. Ah, fuck. Goddamn skeletons. Yeah, that's how skeletons. not the time! That's how skeletons do, Ted. Right, don't want to go down that. That's just demon hell. There's a lot of demons down there, Ted. I I don't appreciate that.
Oh, I like the mimics on like one. Fuck! Oh, this is so dumb. Um, so the mimic like kicked me to death at just the same time as I hit it with a soul arrow that put it on like one HP. And then just as the dying screen was playing, I saw it jump off a ledge and I heard the death sound. Oh, I just really wanted to spite you that mimic, didn't it? So I think it. But it's, it's like, I bet I'll go back now, and it's dead, and it's items, like, despawned. Probably. Oh, fucker. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I go from here. Because I've skipped just a huge section of this level by making that jump. Shouldn't have done that, should you? No, it's pretty great. <laughs> I didn't even realise I could make that jump. I just want to know whether I can push forward to a bonfire, and then I can just come back and do all the bit I skipped to make sure I didn't miss any items. I don't think I missed any items, though. Oh, right, okay, now the motherfucker respawned. So here... I think I go down these stairs... and just have to deal with this fucking hell zone. Yeah, there we go. Fucking kick. It's always the kick, bud. It's always what gets you in the end. Alright, I think if I go back. I just, if I go this down way, and just kill the skeletons first, that might make my life easier. I probably would be in all fairness. But it'd, it'd be much easier to fight the mimic in like the flat area where the skeletons are rather than the stupid little walkway. No, this is the place I skipped, so I don't want to go this way. Don't want to go that way, Ted. That's how I. That's why I skipped somehow. Welcome to Ratlantis. We have rats. It's, it's like Atlantis, but with a worse hygiene rating. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, close for health and safety violations. Also, Ted, you might want to cut to the screen because there's some law here. Law, you say? Yeah. So... Oh, I know. This. Yeah. Oh look, there's like a big spider. Um, it's oh, the no. lady. Oh no! Let's just not have the lady. Have a prayer. Hopefully, she was reunited with her sister. Also, there's just a fucking big lava pit down here, and I don't know how I'm meant to get the items in there. Um, it's probably like the one in Dark Souls 1, there's like a lava resistance ring you need. I think there is, but I don't also don't want to risk it. No, please, there's so many rats here. And a demon? Fuck, I didn't remember there being a demon here. I died. Shouldn't drop down there. Forgot there was a demon down there. That's not the way to do it. Well. Well, I suppose I didn't even use the fact that I skipped loads of the area to push on far enough to get to uh, another bonfire. Oh, fuck you. Why was in iframes? Did you, did you skip loads of that area? Uh, not anymore, I didn't. Because, uh... Didn't mention it, you did. Oh, not any fucking more, I didn't, Ted. <laughs> Sad. Oh, you fucking dogs! They're not quite dogs, but they're close enough. Dog-like entities. They're quadrupedal. And you know Similar what I say? To, but legally distinct from dogs. Yeah. They're not, because obviously Disney owns dogs now. Do you know that? Disney now owns the copyright on dogs. It's not very surprising, is it really? Oh, it was the Black Blade, that thing. Though. Yeah. You made racist remarks it. about it. I can't use it. Oh, 
pretty fucking racist of you. I'm not strong enough. So, everyone who uses the black blade has to be strong. Well, apparently, yeah, it's got that's, a strength requirement that's on real, it. So. That's real stereotyping, Ted. I don't appreciate that in my dark oh, Don't blame like me. Blame the people who put the fucking stats requirement on this weapon. No, I'm blaming you for saying it. Um, but the thing is, you know no. who did put the stat requirement on the weapon? You. It was the Japanese, and as you swore, you'd never forgive the Japanese. Or you, because I'm now cancelling you on Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account, so that's going to be quite easy I'm for you. I'm fucking cancelling you. Ted, you've been cancelled. Well, and is it cancelling if you really never got going in the first place? Yes. Yes, it is, Ted. Okay. It just makes the cancelling much easier to do. I'll fucking get here, you goddamn gas frog. Joke's on you, though. Now I'm going to start a YouTube channel that panders to, like, right-wing weirdos and get strangely successful. You already do that. Yeah, but now I'll be strangely successful when I do it. Oh my god! Oh, there's so much death gas! Death gas, baby, death gas. I fucking hate these guys when you don't have a ranged weapon. At least they die quite quickly. And they're also just kind of funny to look at, you know. Yeah, but it's just, like, I'm ba Yeah, like, I just fucking insta-die. And that's not fun. Oh, it's, uh... Hang on. A curse um, resist item? If, if they're giving you too much trouble, um, look for... Put some armor with curse resistance. Nah, I'm just... I'll be able to just run past them. I'm used to them just being really fucking easy to kill with pyromancy because it's ranged. Yeah. They do be like that. So, buddy. Okay. I like when you knock the skeletons down and they fall a bit so you have to put themselves back together. Yeah, that's fun. I wonder how that's coded. Is it like if they just take over a certain amount of damage in a certain time window? I think it's just that's just what their stun animation is. Well, that's kind of fun. It feels like it happens way faster than other things are stunned though. Well, they're skeletons. They shouldn't be like mega tough. I disagree. I think skeleton should be the hardest thing in the game. Yeah, we are Much like the first time I played Dark Souls 1 and mm -hmm. went into the graveyard. And I was like, oh, skeletons! These are clearly the toughest enemy in the game. Uh, which is ring greatly boosts pyromancies. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So there's like two rings which boost pyromancies in this game, and it's like fucking... They all... It's also the fact that like it's a cumulative percentage boost. The two percentage yeah. boosts don't add together, they stack on top of each other, and it's great. It means if you're wearing both, you get like a 70% pyromancy damage boost or something ridiculous. Alright, so I'm just gonna fucking run through this room, because, uh, fuck all these boys. Smoldering Lake, here I am. Yeah, welcome. I'm just really blitzing through this area because I know exactly where I'm fucking going. Sup, asshole, with a big sword! What's that horrible grinding noise? Oh, it's probably the ballista, isn't it? Yeah, it's the giant ballista I warned you about. Oh, that's a bullshit fucking attack, dude. And he got me. Oh, this is the bit I didn't like. This was it. This asshole. Ah, oh, there's the one. Yeah, he's a uh, kind of a, a big boy, eh? And the fucking mega ballista, not. Shoot the shy Halud over here. <laughs> no, the Mega Ballista cool, is it? only for you. 
I'm not important enough for a Mega Ballista. Uh, the Mega Ballista disagrees. Well, this ain't gonna work, but I'm just gonna try and run past him. Oh, ah! I got ballisted. <laughs> and then he spit lightning on me. Yeah, That's cool. you need to. You can't. You can't run past it. You need to actually k take out the mega ballista first. No, oh, I just take out the mega ballista. Uh, have a bit of an explore, and you end up where oh, I, I am. I don't want to explore video games. Tough. Tough titties. Bitch. It's none of your business how firm my titties are. You need to go under the lake, Ted. To the land of the Shy Hulud. The Shy Hulud. That's where I am. It's full of rats. I've got the uh I've got the hide body spell on. Let's see if it if it helps. I would be shocked if that worked. Uh yeah, it doesn't seem to do it. Yeah, I didn't think it would. I mean, you can just, like, outrun the ballistas, so. Uh, you can, but also you can just be. hide behind trees. But yeah, while, but I had like, to get it's shooting. to it. I had to get to the tree. You just let it shoot first, then run to the first tree. No, it was, it was a long way. Oh, no, crabs! Oh, yeah, yeah, Ted, don't run towards the ballista. Explore. Explore the lake. I did. I saw there was, like, a, a door entrance to a building-looking kind of thing. Yep. It was behind the worm. That's the opposite direction of where you want to be going. Well, the opposite direction to that direction is towards the ballista. Yeah, so do that. You just told me don't go towards the ballista. You need to go a little towards the ballista to go away from the ballista, you know? Why? It's, it's one of those zen things. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so much harder when you don't have pyromancy. Uh. The crabs are right on the edge of my render distance, so I can just see them, like, disappearing and reappearing from view. That's how crabs do, though, right? That's how crabs do. I'm just fighting a dude with a big sword. That's, that does not narrow it down when it comes to Dark Souls enemies. No, it doesn't. He's a special guy. He's got his own name. What was his name? Uh, Happy Tony. Because he, he gets because he gets a big sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got some big swords in your. Yeah, but I can't use them. Uh, Sad Tony's too weak. Sad That's... Tony is too pathetic. Sad Tony wishes he went to the gym more. Sad Tony skipped leg day and also arm day and core day and. But he did shitloads of ballet. <laughs> he was a punk. She did ballet. What more can I say? <laughs> um, a lot, please. This tells me nothing. Uh, well, he was a skater boy. And she said? She said, that's cool. Uh, it's good that you have hobbies. Ah, oh, that's really supportive of her. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I'd say to a skater boy? What would you say? I'd say, see you later, boy, because we're obviously going to hang out and be friends. Yeah, that's true. This is Night Slayer. Oh my god, he's the Night Slayer, Ted. Oh, fuck. Because I'm the Rusty Knight. Oh my god, how did that fucking count as a hit on me? The problem is, because he has a fucking ultra great sword, he... I can't stagger him when I hit him. He gets unstaggerable frames when being hit, and it's a fucking pain in my ass. Okay, I explored a bit more, and I found, I think, the cave bit where you fight Horus, except I haven't done that questline, so he wasn't there. Yeah, he won't be there. Keep exploring. Maybe go, like, opposite from there. You'll find some ruins. Look for some ruins. Well, the ruins just looks like that door over there that's behind the big worm. Ah, but are there any floor ruins, Ted? What? Look for floor ruins. Ah, oh, fuck! Look for floor ruins, Ted. Ooh. That's my hint to you. Got a little bit ballistered. 
Oh, a little bit of blistering builds character. Oof. Well, I managed to get that the Night Slayer to half health. If you kill him, will you become the Night Slayer Slayer? Yes. Nice. Do you think he killed the Narwhal Knight after she stopped being the Narwhal Knight? That's like how Where she ultimately that? met her end. Ted. Aha! I just unlocked a secret. Oh, because do you remember we said that the Order of the Narwhal Knights would send an assassin after her, didn't we? <laughs> At the end of Dark Souls 1. It's oh the Night God, the Slayer. Lore. The law. And now he's he's come for me, the rusty knight. <laughs> the rag knight. Who I'm not really a knight, I'm just looking for a wife. Nah. <laughs> I just want to find my wife. I don't know who she is, because I'm <laughs> I'm unwed. Please, I just want someone who will love me. Love me in my nose. Somebody to love. I'm on the other side from the the, Os the Horus cave. It's kind of just all crabs. Yep. Oh, right, no, I see what you mean. Oh, fuck! Some of these goddamn curse frogs have come to me whilst I'm fighting Big Sword Boy. This is not the run. Why is she finding him on the stairs? Is that the strat? No, it's not the strat. He can Oh my god, Ted, he can fucking one-shot me with that goddamn sword. Oof. <sighs> ah, demons! Yeah, they... Who knew they'd be down here? Who knew? Who knew that the smouldering lake would be full of demons? You know, the guys who love fire. I might have a hard time with these lads. Spell resistance. Just not a lot of room around for me to go. Oh yeah, they also all they also all do pyromancies. So oh, yeah, um, cause they one just uh, burn my tits off. Yeah, they have ranged attacks, which uh, you can't deal with very well, if I remember. Well, I can, You're... but if I have room, but it's in a little tunnel, so I don't really have room. Well, I th isn't your biggest advantage just you know being able to outrange enemies? Well, it's it's okay because you could usually like still dodge. The ranged attacks, but not if they're. Well, it depends uh, how fucking slow your spell to is to cast. Not if you're in a piddly little corridor. Yeah, piddly little corridors are not the place to be. Unfortunately, that's what that this zone is made of. So. Oh yeah, almost entirely, my dude. Right, let's try to get this fucker again. I need to get my souls back. Don't kill me. The problem is, I can't just play aggressive like I normally do, because he be doesn't stagger. Aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Oh, fuck you, I had rolled. His weapon just outranges me so much, I can't stagger him. I don't even remember what he, I don't think he even gives me anything I want as well at this point. At this point I just need to like get my let him kill me in a place where I can retrieve my souls easily. Oh god, these demons make very unpleasant noises. Yeah, well they're doing pyromancy. Oh no, no, they sort of like squelch. But, yeah, that's the noise you make when you do pyromancy, Ted. Isn't, like, the law for the demons that, like, the f because the fire is running out, they're all turning to stone and shit? Yeah. Which is, I guess, how, uh, you know, best girl turned into a stone spider statue. She was my favourite fire. Who was your favourite firekeeper in Dark Souls 1? Um, there's not... A, she's the only... Really the only memorable one is Spider Lady. Exactly. That's why she's the best one. 
Now, please don't kill me. I just want my souls, and then I'm going to run away. Because I don't want to fight you. Please, I don't want to fight you. Dark Knight, Dark Knight, nope. Yes. Dark Knight rises. No, there's a Dark Knight guarding a bridge that you have to cross, and if you time the running right, he barely misses you whilst you climb a ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh, also, ah, oh, his stupid fireball was behind me. Also, because in Dark Souls 3, Dark Knights respawn now. You don't Woo. kill them and they stay dead. So either you have to kill them every time you want to cross a fucking bridge, which is. A ball lake, or you just run past him. And that's what I do. Because <laughs> when given the opportunity between bravery and being a coward, I will always pick being a coward. I think I need to be using a different weapon for these demons. Yeah, they probably have resistance to ice and shit. Have you not got any good weapons with int scaling? Not, I mean, there's the fucking... The candlestick that you get from the deacons. I think that's two-handed. No, it's not. It's a one-handed uh, longsword. It's a one-handed straight sword mm. with really good int scaling. Oh yeah, I'm back at uh, the fucking ballista, so shit's getting noisy, so I might start talk la talking louder, Ted. Mm. Fuck those guys. So to the right here are just fucking wheel skeletons, so I'm just going to ignore them. Because uh, wheel skeletons suck ass. Also, I want right. to know... I, I haven't done Deacon, so I can't get a Have you not fucking done Deacon? No. God damn it, Ted. Right, I just want to aggro one of these guys because they fucking suck. Hey, Ted, do you remember these guys who I fucking hated in Skeleton Hell? <laughs> They're back, baby! There's fucking two of them! And you gotta fight both of them. Oh my god, let me heal. I don't want to fight this fucking Dark Knight. Right, that's one of them dead. And I only used four Estus flasks. <laughs> now for your friend. Oh, don't hit me. I need to heal. Oh, fuck me! This bit fucking sucks, Ted. This bit fucking sucks because there's two of those hell skeletons, and because they're really quick, you can't just run past them. Hellitons? <sighs> yes, Hellingtons. So now it's essentially just fucking corpse running back to that one bit over and over and over again to kill the two Hellingtons. Apart from this is the only guy that's not really worth corpse running past. And there's a non-zero chance you just die to the Dark Knight because you fuck up the running past him. Um, and then you lose all your souls. So this is just, you know, the rest of this level. It's Return of Skeleton Hell. Yep, yeah, I fucking hate. It's just those one skeletons. It's because they're just so floaty in how they move. It makes it so hard to predict where they're going to be, how to hit them, all that shit. Right, 
that's the key here, is you walk towards the Dark Knight till the aggro's, then you start running. Now we start running, dodge roll, run, 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 run. Come on, up, 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 up. Oh, fuck me. Almost killed me on the ladder. If I wasn't full health, he would have killed me. What hmm. it? I've done the easy bit now. Now I just have to kill the two Hellingtons. AKA, the hard bit. Because uh, Ted the Hellingtons are protecting the Giga Ballista. Not the Hellingtons. Yeah, so that explains why the Giga Ballista is just a giant piece of shit. Because it turns out the Hellingtons made it. Starting to lose my voice a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Have a drink. You haven't yeah, even I been talking. Get more water, actually. You haven't even been talking that much, my dude. Alright, you can turn around. Yeah. And just your buddy gets aggroed. Oh my fucking god, that's a bullshit attack! God, and there go all my fucking souls. Fuck the Hellingtons. Fucking hate the Hellingtons. Oh, just fucking bullshit pieces of fucking skeleton assholes. Fucking eighteen thousand. It's just souls. It's just souls. Shouldn't care about souls. Get more fucking souls, Charlie. Fuck Hellingtons, though. Fuck Hellingtons. Fuck Hellingtons. That's what we say. That's what we say on this stream. Fuck Hellingtons. Fuck Hellingtons. Fuck Hellingtons. No one likes those fucking Hellingtons. Managed to kill one last time. Managed to at least fucking kill one. No, I didn't get that fucking today. No, the fucking Hellingtons killed me. Hey Charlie, how was your day? Oh, uh, uh, the fucking Hellingtons. They're the bane of my existence. Oh yeah, that, that's understandable, Charlie. No one likes the fucking Hellingtons. Ugh. And I have to try not to get killed by the fucking Dark Knight as I run past every goddamn time. Ugh. This is the worst bit of smoldering, like, by far. By far, worst bit of smoldering, like. Also, fuck that item. I don't even remember what it is. Yeah, the fuck you do that. Fuck you, bud. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, fuck you, Dark Knight. I'm the Dark Knight now. Ugh. Now it's just Hellingtons. I wonder. I wonder whether I can just manage to run past them. Ah, it's fucking 140 souls, so it's worth a try, I guess. It's worth a try. Because all I need to do is get there and pull a lever. And then they can fucking kill me all they want. Because I don't need to come up here ever again. But I can't remember if there's enemies past the Hellingtons. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. I don't remember what's past the Hellingtons, because my mind is consumed by the Hellington hell. Because the Hellingtons are the bane, the bane of my existence. No, oh, you're fucking dead. Oh, 
Oh my god, the tiny reach on my sword. Alright, welcome to Hellington. Park. I said both of them turn around and go past me. I want to see if I can just fucking run past these fuckers. Where's she gonna go the other way, bud? Yes, fuck them. Fuck the Hellingtons. I'm going for it. All I need to do is push this thing. I just realized I've been muted for like five minutes. Well, I'm just running past the Hellingtons now. I did a thing. I just pushed the thing. There's a dead giant up here. I assume he used to operate the fucking ballista. Sag for him. Ah, leg. Yes, well done. Witty. I've disabled the ballista, Whoa. Ted. I lost 20,000 souls on the Hellingtons. Are these guys trying to throw poop at me? No, they throw fire. It looked like... No, it was like the, the, the shitty little demons. It looked like they were throwing shit at me. They're, they're not demons, are they? They're... Because yeah, they were in the... Um, you know the the shit swamp. Do you remember the shit swamp? Oh uh, yeah. They were in there. I think they're like knights of whatever order that was. You know the We Love Artorius order. They don't look like knights. They look like weird no, but they yeah, but I think people. they've been infected by something. Whatever. They were throwing their own poop at me, and that's. Oh, uh, the that's only just... poop that needs throwing is my poop at you. It's just uncouth. Right. So I've taken out the ballista, Ted. As you probably heard from yeah. my monologue of hating demons. Society has progressed beyond the need for ballistas. Yeah, um, and now I just have to kill the Shy Hullard. Oh, great. Can you not use the ballista, though? Nope. They should yeah. have let you do that. That's, that sounds like it would have been fun. Oh, yeah, also the Shy Hullard fucking breathes electricity. Yep. Which doesn't feel fair. Why, because you can't breathe electricity. No, because it's so fucking big, it feels like that doesn't need to be its thing. Aww, yeah. oh, don't get me, you fucking son of a bitch. Please, I want to live. I just realised I got like three fucking pyromancy tones, I might as well just give to the guy. I mean, yeah, they're just gonna sit around, right? Yeah. yeah, he doesn't want the great, uh, the... Yeah, one well. of them he can't do, because that's for... Ladies. Ladies? Genuinely, yeah, he's like, this is for witches. <laughs> Son of a witch. She's, she's, she's chilling. It's just miracles, lady. Yeah. Yeah, she'll take anything. She's a fucking whore. That's rude. Ah, she should teach me something better than miracles. Oh my god, this worm does so much fucking damage. Guy gave me the applause. Good for you. I can now. You can now clap when you see me because I'm so great. I'm not gonna, but I can. No one ever does. Man, this worm was a lot easier to kill with pyromancies. It's not hard, it's just 
fucking a bull like. I bet there's like challenge runs where people kill the worm without doing the ballista. Almost certainly. Uh, what? uh, no, I'm not fucking doing. Oh, it just fucking made an infinity sign. That's cool. What a cool worm! I love the shy hullard. Oh, there's a dead Capra demon in there. Yeah. I would much rather fight a Capra demon than these fireball assholes. The Capra demons are pretty easy. Yeah, Capra demons were. Uh, I remember like the first Capra demon fight is only hard. Because, because it's in an enclosed space. And he's got those two dogs. Yeah, the hot dogs are probably worse than he is. Once you kill the dogs, it's actually a very easy fight. Yeah, I know. I remember you killing the dogs that yeah. I fought him. I did it! I killed the worm! I got the spell, Lightning Stake. Lightning mistake. Yeah, that's me. And I got the shield of want. I didn't really want that. That's ironic. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Oh. Let's head, are you ready to help me uh, kill the boss? Um, You'll have to summon me before like where the worm is. Yeah, I can, I can do that. We can go to the, you know, the... Oh no, have that... That campfire is outside the smoldering lake, so we can't actually do that. I can just put my sign down behind like one of the big trees somewhere. Oh yeah, you can do that. I mean, there is an entire other bit of this map which I can explore, but there's not really too much here if I remember correctly. Also, we could do a stream with two boss kills in one stream. Oh, very rare. That's because we're bad at Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I know exactly where I am, Ted. This is, do you remember where I was like, oh fuck yeah, I skipped a bunch of the map. Yeah, are you this, in the area? That's... Yeah, this is where that bonfire is. Oh, oh shit, Ted! Room. Ted, you can absolutely skip the worm then. Oh, what, with the, the, yeah. Yeah, if you do the jump, go down this corridor, you can just get to this bonfire which takes you behind the worm. I don't really have a clue what you're talking about, though, to right. be honest. So do you know the first bonfire you found underground? Uh, just, just, well, if you've, you've already done the worm on your world. Ooh, an illusory wall. If you've already done the worm, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, right, put your sign down somewhere out on the lake. Oh, there's a black knight fighting a demon in here. That was fucking cool. Oh, fuck, I missed that. It was behind an illusory wall. Yeah, I remember that when I did it as my pyromancy, but I think I just ran past the area. Because I've just I've been fucking speed running smoldering lake. Oh shit! Oh, he hit me. He, that was a big hit. Yeah. The other problem is, well, Ted is um, because he respawns, and yeah. now you've got rid of that illusion rule. Every time you run past there, he's <laughs> no. gonna. Every time you go past there, he's gonna aggro on you as soon as he kills that demon. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, actually, I've got a hidden body. I'll be alright. Oh, he got me. I tried to run past him to go get the item out of his room. Uh, right, as he's got you, come, uh, yeah. okay. come get your, get yourself out here. I guess, you know, this, the first tree you reach in small Oh, well, I'm at this bonfire, whoops. That's, you can travel. Yeah, I know, I was just, I forgot, I forgot I was respawning at the bonfire down the floor hole. Look at my fucking shield. Oh, again, I've got to go back into, uh, online mode. So yeah, Ted, I think um, when we do Elden Ring, I'm going to go for the punch build. I'm going to do fists. I think I'm still going to do magic just because all of the like, spells in the preview looked really cool. I Actually, I think I'm just going to do big weapons. I just want to be guts. I want to be guts from Berserk. I liked the strength build in Dark Souls 1. 
Either that, or I'm I might do pirate. Fucking... You, you are just a shameless stars queen. <laughs> you know I am. Either that, or I might do pyromancy. Because I've been enjoying the pyromancy build I've done in this game. But then I don't know whether pyromancies are a thing in Elden Ring. I mean, Ring. there's definitely like fire spells, but I don't know whether that's spells, yeah. But, but yeah, it's whether it's... it's a distinct thing because it makes sense yeah, in Dark yeah. Souls. That's a distinct thing, right? So whilst you're just getting your uh, sign down, I'm gonna have a piss. So I will be a back. Piss. Yep, one piss oh. for me. Thoroughly vulgar. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I can't even remember what the boss of this area actually is. I guess I could look it up, but why spoil the surprise? Unless it's Demon Prince, I think it might be Demon Prince. Or is Demon Prince the DLC one? I don't fucking know. Um... I really hope Charlie gets a new mic soon, because that headset is not doing the job, to put it mildly. It's fine, but it's, uh... Actually, in a way, it's kind of nostalgic, because the low-quality mic gives me real, like, 2007 Let's Play vibes. <laughs> Back in the day when all you needed was... A toaster microphone, a pirated copy of Fraps, and a pocket full of dreams. What even happened to Fraps? Does it still exist? I assume Fraps still exists, but you just no one uses it because there's yeah. better capture software now. Yeah, and it used to, at least it used to be you have to pay for it. You didn't have to pay like, for you it, didn't did. really, but you were supposed to pay for it's, it. It's like Winra. Yeah. Well, did you know it's, I mean, it's a little known fact that if you donate $5 to Wikipedia and then buy Winra, that's how you get into the Illuminati? That makes sense, because I don't think anyone's ever done yeah, both. Nobody does it. No. They ask you to. But and you even don't. if someone, like, came up to you in the street and like, told you genuinely and like, provided proof or whatever, that's what you got to do to get into the Illuminati. I think I'd still probably be like, meh. No, Ted, two things. One, the guy we're about to fight is on fire a lot, so I'm not sure an ice sword works. Two. Alright. That was all I had um, to say. I'll be honest, the sword's mostly placeholder. I'm, I'm probably just going to use spells. Fair enough. Have you seen one of the things you can do in Elden Ring is you can change the like weapon art on your weapon? Yeah. And you can it's... change it so you can actually cast from weapons. Yeah. I know because it's like, oh, there's weapon arts in this game, but they're actually going to be not garbage like the Dark Souls 3 ones are. Yeah, because there's just another dude here. We don't need him. Huh? Oh, that's... Oh. There's just a summon sign I think there. It's... I think it's an NPC summon. Yeah, I think it is because it's so close to the boss. Right. You coming? Oh, I can't yet. Oh, there's probably it's a cutscene. Actually triggered the fight. There right we go. Now, He's up. So this is the guy. His name is Old Steaming King. That looks like a yeah. I was gonna yeah, say. that's an AOE attack. Oh, he does not have much health. I think it's kind of the point. He's meant to be like, he's actually just a bit shit. Oh, poor guy. I almost forgot that he just uh, dinked me. Well, actually, he just hit me with this big sweep attack and it didn't even like fully break my blood. Oh, no, he's gone on fire. He's entered oh. beast mode. He's going even further beyond. Oh, that's all the fireballs. Get behind something. No, I'm just fucking hitting him. Oh fuck, he hit me. Now I need to back off, because he's going to kill me. 
Unfortunately, he, I can lock onto him from really far away. Oh no, that's fire. Yeah, that's a fire ring. <gasps> the Felden Ring! <laughs> oh, that's just gonna keep going? No, it stops after two. Ah! Don't worry, Ted. I'm getting him from behind! That's your classic strategy. Is he about to do the firing again? Yeah, he's doing the firing. Oh, this one's going outwards this time. Yeah, that's what the last firing did as well. No, the last one went inwards, I think. Man, he's fucking real close to the old Death of Rooney, eh? Yeah, he's... He's a little bit sad. What? Old Demon King. I cry every time. Look, he's... Look, he's hurt! He's having a moment... Oh! Wasn't expecting that. We got him! Oh, I'm not gonna get my fucking... Uh... <laughs> Ted, I survived it! Yeah, <laughs> sucks to be Ted. No, that's not fair. I killed him. Uh, and now... I travel back to Firelink Shrine. He was my best friend. Now, Ted, here's the real question. Do you just want to try fight that monster on the beat on the uh, bridge at Irithyll? Do you reckon <laughs> we could just kill him? Welcome home, sweetie. I can have a go. Well, yeah, I think with two people, it probably won't actually be that hard. Yeah, I think we could do it. Okay, I need to be a warrior's bonfire. Mm, what? What do I want to level up? More health? I think I'm just gonna go for more damage. It's only one damage, but I gotta get my dex to 60 at some point. I might. I've I've definitely missed ashes and fucking yeah. undead bone shards and shit like that. Oh no, I got the undead bone shard in that area. Did I get an Esther shard? I might ashes have got an Esther ashes. shard. Funk to funky. I don't think. No, there weren't any ashes. Ashen one. I think it's mostly pyromancies you get from there, because... Oh, I can't use my soapstone here. That Sad. makes sense. Be careful. Sad. I'm sure that guy's going to turn up again. Oh, Ted, I just realized in this playthrough, never fucking got the pyromancy guy. Oh, yeah. Huh, who the fuck is this guy? Oh, you're back again. What, the guy? Oh, he's the sorcery. sorcery. I don't I don't need to learn sorceries. I have a sword, I hit people. That's my thing. I haven't found very many sorcery tomes, which is annoying. I assume they come a lot later in the game, then. Mm. But there's quite a few sorceries. I mean, oh, once you kill the worm, you'll get your sorceries. Do I want well, chaos bed... Vestige. Oh, if I remember right, the Chaos Bed Vestiges is. Well, it's a, it's a Pyromancy. Yeah, or the Old King's Great Hammer. I don't even want either of these, but I'll get the Pyromancy. Yeah, I think that's actually a good. I mean, it's basically a um, great Chaos Fireball. Yeah. And that Pyromancy <laughs> carried me through Dark Souls 1. You're not wrong. Uh, where do I want? I want to be in the catacombs. I want... Not the old Demon King. Oh, no. oh wow. Apparently the catacomb, like, all that shit we did in... All just counts as catacombs bonfires, Ted. Mm. That's weird. Well, I've just gone from a really warm place, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to assume, a really cold place, considering it's called the Boreal Valley. <clears throat> it kind of looks like the Bloodborne City. When you get there, you'll see what I mean. Except, oh, cool. Like, yeah, it's, it's wintry. <laughs> well, in instead of night time. Yeah. What is the, like, isn't part of the lore of Bloodborne that, like, it's just an eternal night or something as well? Because of the no, shit which has happened? Well, I think it's, like, 
It's supposed to take place over the events of, like, a night. I don't know if the, the night is supposed to be, like, unnaturally long or something. Because I thought that's why you went there as a hunter. I don't remember. The Bloodborne storyline is really confusing. I mean, yeah. It involves, like, Lovecraftian Elder God blood transfusions, doesn't it? Some shit like that. That's what the blood you're collecting is. That's what makes all the monsters. Let me through! I've got the doll, bitch! Ah, oh, look at this chump. Ah, oh, you're not even gonna fight him. No, I'm leaving him. Oh, I'll run I'm sure, Ted. I will be shocked if I do not see him later. Mostly because I'm looking down underneath that bridge, and that is very clearly an area I can traverse. Mm -hmm. I think that monster's a one-off, though. No, I can... He might be a one-off, but I bet if you do not kill him on the bridge, he's going to respawn, and he will jump down and attack you. And I'll be like, oh, I'm scared! And you'll be like, Charlie, you're a fool. And I'll be like, I'm a fool! You just walked past an item. Did I? Yeah, next to that, like, middle fountain thing. I picked it up. No, it oh, no, there's one there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that one. Also, there's a ghost. Ooh, See? Spooky! Oh, wow, he's got a fucky head. What's wrong with your fucking head, dude? I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna see where he Oh, I'm being invaded. Classic. <laughs> oh, well, I'm right by a bonfire. They can suck my dick. Oh, if only I had um, a seed, you could run back out on the bridge and then use it. I could. Should we just see how long until he... He's like, oh, greetings. You, you're, you're ready to engage in some fun <laughs> PvP, right? Help me. <laughs> he's, he's, he's quite confused. You're commuting. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how long until he just kills me. He's got some cool armor on. But I'm just gonna see how long until he just kills me. <laughs> <laughs> this is strangely wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only carving you've got? Hold on, I'm luring him onto the bridge and then I'm going to use the seed. Have you got the seed? <laughs> yeah, I've got a seed! Oh, nice. He's going to come with me. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, that was weird. Is he still here? Where's he gone? Yeah. No, he like went invisible and then de-invisible. I don't know, it was weird. Well, if he's there not he going to kill me, I'm going to get the big monster to kill me. Oh, the big monster won't spawn. Oh, That's lame. Uh. Oh, whoops, I accidentally seeded. Oh, oh well. They're free anyway, so who cares? He does, he hasn't got <gasps> He's just so fucking long. friended me! <laughs> <laughs> I just got a friend request from him, Ted. What? I've just got a friend request from him on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding him. I'm adding him on Steam. Oh no, fuck, I hit him. Oh, whoops. He left! You did it! You finally won the PvP match! <laughs> 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 oh man! I'm so 
glad that happened on stream. <laughs> oh, that was the dumbest fucking thing I think I've ever done in Dark Souls. Right, let's, let's just keep progressing then, eh? I suppose. Now, I've never fought one of these guys in melee, because obviously I've played a... I've done a little bit of this zone as my pyromancer. Watch out, he's, they're shooting purple goop at you. Yeah, he fucking pulls it out of his mouth, which is kind of cool. disturbing. Well, there's worse orifices he could pull it the out. The problem is, I know there's another one there, see? Ooh, ooh. I'm hoping that one just runs towards me so I can kill him on his own and then deal with oh, shield oh, point oh, later. Travelers. Come on. Oh my god. They just fucking hit hard. I killed him. He's dead. I killed he's dead. him. He's dead, Jim. He's not going to be in Dark Souls 4. Do you know who is going to be in Dark Souls 4? The guy who friended me. <laughs> I like him. Oh, fuck. He did his big hit. I don't like his big hit. I'm confused how he even, like... He's like a weird skeleton mummy, isn't he? Look I'm, at him. I'm confused how the guy, the friend request guy even, like, how, how did he know to... I don't know, but I got a friend request. Because surely it doesn't give Steam player information, right? I don't know. I have no idea. I have zero clue. Come on, are you just gonna fucking... Now this is a duel of the ages! <laughs> Hard and Ted, I do just have to say that obviously because I've won my first solo PvP fight now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am king of PvP. I'll wear I my PvP. I'm wearing wonder, if, my PvP crown. If you like ended up actually getting into a PvP fight and doing it like legit and then winning and you found that was really fun, if you'd have like. You know, like the queer like moment where you were like, oh, I get why people like this game now, if you have one of those for PvP. But that feels like wishful thinking. Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Mostly because I don't think I'll ever win a PvP fight, because I'm not <laughs> very good at this game. But Ted, look, I'm wearing my crown because I'm the king of PvP. <laughs> You're the king of something, alright? I'm the king of your ass. It's not really saying much. It's not a very prestigious title. Right, good. Oh, how was that fire witch still alive? Oh my god, please. I don't want to die. Oh my fucking god, there's another one? Oh, that's bullshit that he can hit me from over there. Right, these guys are dead. Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god! Right, let's just aggro them out of that fucking fire witch's range. Because uh, I ain't fucking dealing with that bullshit. Oh, fuck yes, Black Knight Sword. That'll actually be really useful. <laughs> Have you got the strength to use it, though? Good point! The answer's probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. Ouch. Uh, oh, shit, and Black Nightboy just dropped his axe and two pieces of his armor. Neat. Let me see, Black Knight's sword. Do not, Ted. Uh, I've had my moment of glory. I think I'm going back to the silly hat. The silly hat's <laughs> more fun. 
Where's the Gus X now? Where's the... Can't even... Oh, there it is. Uh... Oh, I'm not... Oh, right. I need 20 strength and I've got 14. So... Yeah, I don't think mm. it's worth 16 levels, Ted. I think just get an int Six. scaling weapon. Six levels. Well, also, and the build I'm using, it will actually eventually end up with... Oh, it goes to 16 strength, so... Yeah. yeah Here's Sad. the thing, Ted. I think you're better off just getting an int scaling weapon. Go kill the deacons, turn their sort, get their candelabra, use that. I don't know if the candelabra is any good. It scales really well with int, Ted. Yeah, you but have that not... doesn't, that doesn't, there are many weapons that scale well with int, but are still shit. Yeah, but you don't have any good int scaling weapons. I do, I've got the um, Crystal Sage's rapier, and I don't really like it very much. Yeah, but that's because rapiers are weird. These guys are coming back. Let's just hide from them. I just want my Moonlight Great Sword. That's all I ask. I know you do, but you're not going to get it. Ah, well. You'll eat those words. Not for a while, you ain't. You'll eat those words. Oh, fuck. One of these guys aggroed on me. This is not going to be the place to fight him. Yeah, called it. Ted, you know the only words I eat are delicious words. That's the only word you eat. <laughs> Ass. Ass. And titties. These are a few of my favourite things. Is that my remix? I love your remix. Have you seen my remix? Uh, I'd rather not. I did a uh, synthwave version of the Dr. Wily's castle theme. <laughs> for any, for literally everyone in the world who that means nothing to, there's just on YouTube a guy did a really good synthwave version of the Dr. Wily's castle theme. It fucking rocks. And it's got like 5,000 views or something. It's very underrated. Oh, absolutely. Everyone needs to go watch it. Uh, Ted, put a link in the description. When I put this VOD up, I'll just um, have that song on loop throughout the entire VOD. Yeah, I'm sure we won't get DMCA'd. Well, it's a, it's a cover, so it... Oh, actually, it. yeah, surely. He owns no copyright of it. Yeah, fuck that guy. That's our song now. Dead. Just post it on our YouTube channel and claim it's ours. <laughs> no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch shift it up and speed it up and claim it's a Nightcore remix. Hell yeah! I do not understand Nightcore. I don't know what Nightcore is. It's basically... Right, you, here's how you make a Nightcore song. Right, You take an existing song. Yeah. You speed it up. Uh -huh. You pitch shift all the vocals up so it sounds like it's being sung by a chipmunk on speed. Uh -huh. And then you upload it to YouTube with a picture of an anime girl as like the video bit. I think I can handle that. I think I can do and, those And things. that's how you do... That's how you commit Nightcore. I commit Nightcore on a bi-weekly basis. And it's like, I just don't get what why people are into it, but people the people who do like it seem to be like really intense about it, so Ah uh, yeah, that's just fucking genres, baby. Mm. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I get to a place. So Ted, look at the stream. Yeah. So, you can see where I'm currently looking. I very clearly can get down here, right? Like, there's a ledge you can drop down to get there. Do you see where I am? How there's very clearly uh, a path? I get, uh, yeah. What, you mean like the raised yuppie bit or the courtyard down the, below you? The oh, bit you below me, I very down, clearly can get down there. Right? But I can't figure out how the fuck I do. Man, man. Don't ask me. Ooh, illusory wall. Maybe it's an illusory wall. Oh, and the illusory wall brought me out next to uh to Milady, so now I'm sad. Maybe it's an illusory wall. Milady. Ah, oh, poor Milady. Ah, and now I'm at the bit you're on about with 
lots of lava. Yeah. And items in the lava. Yeah, and how how you may get those lava items? There'll be it's it's like in uh, Dark Souls One. There'll be a ring that that lets you get across. You love rings which lets you get off. I mean across. Herbert. I resemble that remark. Yeah, no, that's why I said it. Well, oh, there's a, a giant rat. There's a lot of rats down there. There's a bonfire here. I'm just gonna light that. Ah! I'm just gonna light this bonfire. Relight my fire. There you go. I, I'm not arrested it though, because I still want to try find that fucking area. I think it's gonna be this down this way. It's not. It must be up here somewhere. How many shitty little floating fireballs can these demons have on the go? There's legit like five in here. Yep, yeah, loads. It's Ugh. kind of ridiculous. How the f How the fuck do I get to you? Hmm. The worst bit is I know I got there when I was doing my Pyromancer build. But I can't remember how. Just more up this way. Maybe, maybe it's through this the church. Reason, maybe the, the way there oh, is here. found from within. I hope not, because within is there's now just like a fucking fire witch and his two assholes walking about. Look, well, there's clearly a way in. Because I can solid. get to that statue and drop down. And... Can I just fucking jump over this? No. Oh look, there's a, there's a fucking item down there! An item? A fucking item. And there's, look, there's a fucking pontiff knight down there and everything, so like, I can clearly get by. Also, now these guys are gone, I'm just gonna fucking peg it away from them. Hey, <laughs> hey, assholes, I'm going to your church. I'm gonna fucking desecrate it so bad. Are we allowed to desecrate churches on Twitch, Ted? Well, we kind of already have. I mean, that... the cathedral was an entire level, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's true. No, I'm just wondering whether that's against turn to service. Why are the fire witches so tall? I know, I kind of love them though. <laughs> they look cool. You, you're looking for a big dummy mommy to... In like, immolate you with her candlestick staff. Yeah, pretty much. Her flaming candlestick staff. Flaming. I got a lightning gem. How the fuck do I get up there? No, uh, you probably have to drop down. That's really how these things work. Yeah, but it's in the middle of an area. See? Oh. How liberating is it going to feel for you, because uh, Elden Ring just has, like, a jump button? Yeah, I am actually going to love that. It's, see, look, it's in it's on in the middle of a fucking raised platform. How the fuck do you get yeah, up you, there? You'll have to drop down from somewhere. I found an illusory wall. The Mage Clutch Ring. Oh, see, look, there's also a way there. Oh, that is completely useless for you, but it'd be great for me. <laughs> Well, I can tell you where to get it. It's the one where it, I think it boosts spell damage, but it makes you take more damage from, like, regular attacks. Oh, yeah, you'll love that, Perv. Hmm. Um, how would you feel about maybe stopping the stream slightly early today, maybe, like, just so I can feel my throat's going. I mean, we can end now if you want. Yeah, just if you wanted to, like, find Why a spot to stop. I, I don't well, know. like, I don't know where else I'm meant to explore here. I assume it's <sighs> going to be to do with this gate here, which I can't... Oh, it doesn't be, open from this side. Probably and better, you can, like, 
poke around off stream so that it save us from just true but I assume it's going to be scenes. something to do with these two doors which open from another side. I assume I'm going to le like loop back here. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll go to that bonfire I found over here. The rest of the bonfire and then we'll call it that. Okay. Da -ba -da. Yeah, here it was. Oh, I just remembered a, uh, a weird thing that happened to me today that I was going to tell you about. Oh, do you want to tell me about it before we end yeah, the stream? It's only, it's, only a, it's only a quick one. Uh, so I was walking back to my flat from the shop. And these, like, two visibly quite drunk women mm -hmm. walked past me. And um, one of them, like, when I'd already walked past them, one of them, like, turned around to me and went, Sorry, sorry, sorry. And I was like, oh, what? And just, like, pointed down the street and just went, Are there any pubs that way? Yeah, that's a bit sure. And uh, and I said to them, "Oh yeah, 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 just keep going, knowing full well there were no pubs down that street." <laughs> you bastard! Look, they were, they were. They'll thank me later when they so, find find Christ and repent their sinful ways. So Ted, just before we end, turns out one, this is the church that I have to talk to her at. That's Two. Usual. One of those statues is an assassin that I'm not allowed to kill. Huh. They may be up there instead, so I'm not going to go up there. But there it says there's an assassin in this church disguised as a statue. So I'm going to try and avoid all the statues. So before the stream ends, let's talk oh, to her. What's up? How'd, how's I your buddy? To find oh, I wonder why you never found him. But my duty must be done, even alone. As an unkindled Lord Seeker. For the children I Oh, so she's just like a regular dude who's trying to kill all the Lords of Cinder. Um, I can't remember exactly what Henry's deal is. I would do well to learn. May the flames guide me. I got quite resolved. Is it Henry where like her father was someone important and so was her grandfather? Maybe. I don't really remember. I know because there's a lot of M like, a lot of the NPCs are tied to specific bosses. Like um, Onion Boy has a thing with Yorm, um, and the the depressed guy in Firelink Shrine is what is from the uh, Abyss Watchers. Ah, oh, okay. Um, and Anri's thing is Aldrich. Oh. So apparently, if I went back to where I uh, killed Horus in <laughs> Smoldering Lake, there'd be a tombstone. <laughs> there'd be a gravestone. Rip Horus. But with that, Ted, that's the end of the stream. Spend. Sad. Sam Tony has made valiant strides to find himself a wife. By killing off his love rival, Horus. <laughs> <laughs> so, bye bye.